Have you ever stood in a bookstore wondering if you've already read the book that's in your hand? I think it happens to all of us, certainly happens to me. I want to show you how I use Evernote to keep track of what I've read and what I've learned from the books I read. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. Please subscribe to the series so you won't miss any future episodes. I read a fair number of books every year, and not only do I sometimes struggle to remember what I've learned from some of the books, but it's even hard for me to remember if I've read a book I see or hear about. I mean, after a couple of years, it's easy to forget what you've read. So I use Evernote to help me. So first off, let me just uh, admit up front, I read only nonfiction. Very rare that I you read fiction, but you could use this for keeping track for your fictional reading as well. So my list of notebooks in my demo account, notice I have a notebook called Book Notes. This is home base. In it, if we click on it, you will see that I have a note marked reading list. So let's open this one up. It's a simple table, as you can see. Uh, it has several columns, year, that's the year that I read the book, not the year that it was published, uh, because I find this most valuable to keep track of when I read things, not necessarily when they were published. Then the title of the book, the author or authors, the number of pages, I like to keep track of how many pages I read every year, and then I like to categorize them. What category do they fit in? I also have a column for notes. I rarely use this column. I used to use it a lot more. I used to try to uh, summarize the book in a, in a sentence or two, but I don't do that anymore, and I'll show you why in just a second. But for example, if I start a book, I get pretty much all the way through it, and then I don't finish it, well, then I'll just put in DNF or did not finish. Uh, that's pretty rare. Sometimes if I start a book, I know within the first 10 or 15 pages if I'm going to like it or not. If I don't, I don't even add it to the list. But one of the reasons I do like to have books that I've started and uh, did not finish is because if I, if I see them in the library or in a bookstore, uh, I can check this list and see if I've uh, ever read the book. And uh, if it says did not finish, well, then I, <laughs> I might think twice about picking it up again. Every book I read, is uh, added to this list, it becomes an easy reference. And because of Evernote's search engine, I can always look up a book. Again, if I'm in a bookstore and I see the name of a book, uh, yes, I can go to this page, and I do that once in a while, but I also like the uh, search feature of Evernote, and I'll just type in the name of the book or the author, and then it will tell me whether or not it finds it or not. So the next step, and I'll admit this is a little bit nerdy, but it's important to me. When I read a book, I highlight important passages. I'm careful that I don't highlight too much. I read mostly on my Kindle. That's for convenience. I can read wherever I am. And at the end of each chapter, I use the note feature to capture the main themes of that chapter in the Kindle note section. If I read a physical book, I keep a notebook with me to write down key points of the chapter. It helps me put all this into my own words. When I finish a book, I go back <laughs> and I write a summary of the book. Someone made fun of me once uh, saying that uh, I probably like writing book reports in school. No, actually, I never did, but uh, this helps me refresh my memory about what I have read. So what I do is I create another note in Evernote. I put down the name of the book, the authors, the date it was published, who published it, and the number of pages again. I do this because if I want to make a book recommendation, they might want to know the name of the publisher or the date it was published. So I put it in this notes page. I do a screen capture of the uh, title of the picture of the cover. And then I tend to write down in my own words a summary of the book. Then I like to capture five highlights, five things that I want to remember about the book. And I just list them very quickly, and I write a sentence or two uh, about each of them. And because all of these books have a shared link, just as I had them on the front page, I, if you are talking to me about a book, I want to make a book recommendation, I could just send you the link to my notes. Now, you could use this system or a variation of it to keep track of your music collection, your recipes, just about anything. And of course, you can design your template any way that works for you. My book note section in Evernote is a popular notebook for me. I use it almost all the time. I have other tips 
on how you can get the most out of Evernote. It's all in my course, Evernote for Beginners. Now, whether you're new to Evernote or just want to make sure you're using it to its fullest, this course will be helpful to you. Evernote for Beginners. Find out more at DaveEdwardsMedia.com and click on Courses.